Yes.
Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. And folks, if I could interrupt you just for a second, this is a congressional prayer conference from Washington, D.C. to the West Coast and all of you folks in between. And I would uh, encourage you, if you'd like, to share the phone number or any information with our worldwide audience. But as we unite in prayer, this is going all over the world. And thank you for allowing us to be on with you. Yes, so I just yes. Out, you, think you'd be real, you think you'd be real sweet and nice if Jesus appeared to you, but you're whatever you are. It's like the spotlight will hmm. show it all up. And, and it doesn't yeah. get held back. And I just blurted it right out. I said, well, who works for you any longer than I do, Lord? I was up all night. I just got back from being on a nice citywide prayer wave in Malaysia. We host CBN and we're pastoring the church. I got my hands full. And how can I work any harder for you? He didn't even answer me. He doesn't have to. He just whipped right over it. Yes.
it up and dump it on Plymouth Rock. And we're going to believe God because he's going to hit this place. Well, all of a sudden, a bunch of people stood up all over the auditorium. And they said, we've lost dirt too. I just sat there and gasped. I couldn't believe what I was watching. They came with the dirt bag, little paper baggie. Amen. Amen.
salvation experience, reading the life of glory, and it became the mainstay for homeschoolers to get the understanding of God's touch of that invitation. So mm. I personally believe that it's no coincidence that I met Mary the Mandate, the David Manuel that wrote that book in a lighthouse, The Last Awakening, right in the hinge of Cape Cod, and that we're back now. And Paul Chaley is a historian from Plymouth. Amen. Thank uh, you, Lord. Well, I think that's uh, of the Lord, obviously, and obviously the Lord is leading you and other people to be instrumental. And as I've said before, I praise God that he works with us, through us, and sometimes in my case, in spite of us, but he continues to work and continues to bless us. And we thank the Lord for the opportunity we have to broadcast this. And ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage you to pray for these folks and to be a part of it. We say here on the Wiley Drake Show, there's three ways you can be involved. Number one, you can just pray. But number two, you can be boots on the ground. You can go to where these people are. Or you can be prayer in the air like you are today on this uh, telephone and on this television network that's going literally around the world. So God bless you folks. Share anything you would like. We're still monitoring and we're still broadcasting all that's coming forth from what God is doing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is God's television network, and we're going to televise and we're going to talk about what God is doing. To God be the glory.
about everything changing in this nation. He was telling me today about um, what the Lord showed about the president and this election, and he got a word from God about the blizzards coming and other things. So, Wayne, if you want to come share it with all our listeners, we're just so delighted they're joining your prayer meeting. Tell them where you want to put them in their letters. How are you doing tonight, Pastor? Doing fine, my brother, and we welcome you, and we thank you for being on this, and we'll be broadcasting this uh, at 7.30, because that's when we're on with our television program. When you folks are on there at 7.30, your time, that's 4.30 here in California. But to God be the glory, great things he's done yeah. in opening these doors. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
And Father, you said that as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth bud, it may give seed to the sower. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return void. For you shall go out with joy and be led with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you in singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And instead of the thorns that we are fearful of, shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and shall be to thee, Lord, for a name, for everlasting sign that shall not, shall not be cut off. Amen. Love God. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Are you going to be able to join us tomorrow night if we um, if, if we uh, do this again a while ago so we can give some of these local people a chance to get here and join in? We'll be live with you. We'll be here. Now, I'm just, I'm just going to let people who have just now joined your show uh, listen to us again and hear, hear the numbers so that if they want to join live, they can. Uh, that number is on East Coast time, 730, a conference call number. Every night this week, 641-715-3680. Code to get in is 29648. Then you press the number pound.
Lord. Yes, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we're listening to a special prayer meeting from back on the East Coast. Shelly Manuel is leading in that prayer meeting, and we thank the Lord. They cannot hear us now because I muted us, and uh, but we are praying with them and for them. I want to remind you that tomorrow night again at uh, 4.30 here in California and 7.30 in Washington that this phone number will be available, 641 Seven one five three six eight zero, and the access code is two nine six four zero eight star one, and we encourage you to be a part of it. Listen in, pray in, call in if you'd like, but be a part of it, and we'll be carrying it right here on our television program. Everybody did it from home. 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 Everybody did it from home.
And Father, we thank you for this day and for all the blessings that you've given us. And Lord, if there's others that would like to call in, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to call in, you're welcome to do so. You can call in on our conference call number. Our conference call number is 1712-432-1690. Access code 399-430-POUND and join us on our access number and you're, you're welcome to be on with us and we'll put you on. We are muted right now, so they're not hearing us, but we'll go back on speaker with them and unmute uh, ourselves and uh, let you share as the Lord leads. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for listening to the Wiley Drake Show today. I want to remind you that we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. We'll be doing our prayer meeting, the Congressional Prayer Conference that we call Telephonic Prayer Meeting. That's at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, California time, 11 o'clock Washington, D.C. time. But we would encourage you to come and pray with us where we pray specifically uh, for a group of people. The first thing we do is pray the call to fall. And that call to fall is what we prayed a little while ago. I will answer God's call to fall on my knees in humility and seek his face in repentance so that he might forgive my sin and heal our land. And then we will pray for each of the 100 senators. One, two from each state. We call their first and last name, and we pray for them specifically, one by one, name by name. And then when we get through with the senators, we move to the representatives. Now, at that point, we obviously do not list all 400 plus, but we do pray for them in what I call congregational prayer because all of those of us that are there will list our congressmen in congregation and pray for them. And then we will pray in congregation for the remainder of the 400 plus. So we pray for the senators. We pray for the House of Representatives. We also pray for the Supreme Court, each justice by the first and last name, and we will pray for them and encourage you to pray for them as well. And we encourage you to join us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. That's 11 o'clock in the morning, Washington, D.C. time. But we will be joined together, and uh, we would encourage you to call us. 712-432-1690. Access code 399-430-POUND. And that's for... Uh, that 11 o'clock prayer meeting. And then, of course, we come on at 12 noon for our regular meeting here on the Wiley Drake Show on the Congressional Prayer Conference. We're going to go back now uh, to this and listen to these folks. In the name of Jesus.
Yes. We ask the Lord Jesus to rivet hearts around us in Jesus' name. Oh, Rimati, Tikato, Kobare, Shedda, the Mona, Ebro, the Vandico, Koshkere, Kamaha, and Ebro, the Nibri, Kamasa, Kiki. Oh, Lord Jesus, the Pope of the Master, the Nibri, Kedas, Kura, Tabakaha. Oh, Lord Jesus, the Pope of the Nibri, the Pope of the Hoho. Lord, I pray, only you can do it, Lord. You're the only one that can lay it on somebody. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, when you give a vision, you give provision. And I would pray, Lord, for this vision that's obviously of God. And Father, we thank you now for the provision that you're going to bring about on this budget to do what needs to be done. And we ask, Lord, that you would lay it on the people's heart. I would simply say, Lord, let me lead out. And let me say, Lord, what would you have me to give? And then you speak to me. And Lord, I pray that everyone within the sound of my voice would say, Lord, what would you have me to give? And then tell them what to give. Father, we thank you for the provisions that you're going to bring. And we thank you for the use of it and for the good stewardship of it. And we thank you for that. And Father, in the precious and holy name of Jesus, as we think about this and pray about this, Lord Jesus, I believe you would give me three words to say to the devil. Go to hell. Amen. Because that's where he belongs. <laughs> in Jesus' yeah. name, amen. Well, Father, your word teaches us that we're to pray your word. They compass us about with words of hatred, you said, 
and fought against us without a cause. For our love, they are our adversary. They've rewarded good for evil and evil for good. Set thou, Lord, a wicked man over them and let Satan stand at your right hand. When they shall be judged, and they shall be judged, let them be condemned, and let their prayer become sin. Let their days, Lord, you said, be few, and let another take their office. Let the children be fatherless, and the wives a widow. And Lord, we pray that against these demonic, possessed people that want to call it gay, want to call it an alternate lifestyle. Lord, you called it sodomy. And if people don't believe yeah. what God thinks about sodomy, all they got to do is go check out Sodom and Gomorrah. God, That's right. turn these churches back to Jesus Christ and replace those that are leading in other venues and other avenues that are of the devil. And Lord, we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Man. Yes. Amen.
Amen. And about that, she knew it. She told it right. We made chills go down my spine in front of all of us. And I knew exactly. I knew it all too well as having been a pastor. I knew she was telling it right. I was fortunate. And then this man came out of the elevator, looked at me with beautiful blue eyes. He was out in London. I've got blue eyes. And he said, oh, you have the most beautiful blue eyes. I've been watching you every day. Well, I said, thank you, sir. I said, God bless you. And suddenly he said to me, no, Satan bless you. And he was a Amen. But that was what was taught. And then Chris Mino, who was the uh, director of Mass Sentinel, he had done a good fight. He had, he really had a good fight going against these people. And later I spoke to him. I said, what happened? Why did it all fall apart? He said, well, uh, the Christians didn't put any more money into it. They didn't show up anymore. And we couldn't do it by myself. It fell apart. They have all the money. They got into the media, the churches, the colleges. And they've taken off with it. So we really need Amen. Uh, the nation is ripe for judgment. All this going on. There was a 6,000 member gay march yesterday in Portland, Oregon. God mm. only knows where else. But wait, say what you said today. You talked about what was going to happen to the nation with Trump coming in and everything. You said it was the biggest upset in world history and that you saw God bring a touch to it all. Yes. Amen. God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, he has the last word. Some people prayed and fasted and sought God. God intervened and set things in motion. And I believe that, you know, Psalm 110 will be, will, will be uh, indicated and that God will, will put his enemies under his foot. Yes, and, Lord. Uh, everything's being brought to fruition. Uh, the righteous and the unrighteous. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. As a president, I was, I was at the inauguration, and I was with uh, Perry Stone and Paula White and Rodney Howard Brown and um, also uh, Alveda King and a whole lot of others. I played the harp in the Trump Tea Garden in the early morning uh, prayer time there. And one, one of the things that I found out from Paula White, and she sat and talked with me, and I interviewed her, she said, this president, uh, before he even became president, had called upon her because he was watching television, Christian TV. She said he watches it every night. He watches it every night. And that's how the God, God got his heart turned around. He got a, I think a Pentecostal grandmother, Bible, you know, waving, tongue talking grandmother, prayer warrior. And um, God pulled it back in. And he had her come to a meeting. And God told her, don't ever take one dime from, from him. Don't ever let him pay for even a cup of coffee. You just go and minister and don't ever be accused of taking any money from this rich man. You just get him to where he needs be with me. So one day he called her. He was still doing The Apprentice. I think this was back before he even ran for office. And he said, um, I want you to bring people a prayer. I want you to pray for my whole staff. There's about 300 people there. And he said, everybody who needs your cell phones in the hallway. So he had a big basket. They made everyone leave their cell phones and keep them in the hallway. And uh, he said, we're going to pray. I'm seeking the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now what's amazing is, when I was 18 years old, I was at Rima Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I was praying with a group of people one night. I was dating a guy from uh, Young Republican. And I was only a young person. And the Lord suddenly showed me a vision of being on the white marble steps of a building in Washington. I didn't know if it was a Capitol building or one of the uh, Senate or Congress buildings or if it was a White House. But it was 
one of those big white marble step building pillars, and I had a microphone in my hand and a television camera crew behind me. Now, I had a career in uh, ad film animation when I graduated from RISD back in 79, but I'd never uh, done anything with it, and at that time, I was in media, didn't perceive that I would be. Of course, I am now, but I, I did not perceive that back then. So I was very curious as to why I was seeing it and what I was seeing, and I saw it. Well, we heard him profess what God is doing in his heart and in his life. And we also heard uh, others share about what God is doing in his heart and in his life. And we're just praising God for that. James Robinson is talking to him on a regular basis and praying with him and praying for him. And we just see the mighty miracle of God being worked on the president of the United States. Amen. And I know that Rodney Edwards went on and Paula White is out in here. And I know that Archbishop uh, Duncan Williams is preaching on the prayer, unceasing prayer of the Lord. Um, they are all constantly in his ear, too. And I know God's really doing it through James, like you said. So yeah. this Amen. is a president who is seeking counsel and seeking the wisdom of Almighty God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we just plead the blood over this president. You know there's people on here from all over the nation that are praying with us tonight. Yes, Lord. We know they all care. And Father God, we just come in unison. We come to the harmony about this. We are praying, Lord Jesus, for your glory, your blood, your anointing. It shouts from the heavens and decrees and declares a better thing than the blood of righteous Abel. Yes, Lord, yes. all our good works don't match up to it. It shakes out it shakes not only the earth, but it shakes the heavenly realms also. Yes, yes. Let us read yes. mighty legions of angels to protect, to influence, to guard, and do war against the enemy. And Father God, we praise you for those who stand for you, testify for you, work in the spirit between heaven and earth, come to the holy Mount Zion, as it were. Work, Lord, because the absence of the body is to be present with the Lord, whoever makes intercession for us. Know the saints that have departed, they're not out there eating angel food, talking to the grass in the yard, living in brand new mansions. That's a, a bunch of bunk. What they're doing, the Bible says, is they are present with the Lord. What yes, yes. They ever live to intercede for us at the throne of God. There is the biggest, long lasting, uh, round the clock Holy Ghost prayer meeting you've ever heard of in your life. Yes, Lord. They don't Amen. Territories and realms, but right now they are joined in the spirit and they are praying for us, looking over. Did someone else join us on the prayer line? How much are we praying? How much do we care about this harvest? Jesus stood there and wept over the harvest. Why? Because the white harvest has gone by. You can't harvest it. The, the wheat, the, the shaft is hot. A golden harvest means you can still harvest. He cried for the laborers. Amen. He knew he was going to lay his life down. He left glory to get here to this planet. Oh, dear Lord. Somebody just came on and joined us. Who joins us on our prayer line right now? I heard heard someone come in. Praise God. We're glad that whoever Great. has joined. Who? <laughs> Who is it that joined us? It's Grace. Hi, Grace. Would you like to pray something out about working on the team 
with us for this um, awakening that we are having with this meeting on Saturday. Would you like them to pray for something? Go ahead and pray it out. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we know that the anointing breaks the yoke. We need a yoke to be spoken, Lord, over our, our personal lives, over our churches. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Amen. Mm-hmm. How to build your church, get your best box of donuts, your sugar stick sermon, get on the radio, and make it all happen. He mm. said, go tarry and wait on the Holy Ghost. And Amen. Amen. And then when they went into the place where Simon the Sorcerer was trying to buy the Holy Ghost, why did he want to buy it? Because those people were coming to that place of commerce where you, you need an interpreter. That was a place where all nations came to do business, so he came up to the apostles and wanted to buy the Holy Ghost. So here's another miracle. It says that not only did they pray in these languages, they preached in those languages where these other people could hear them and Yes, yes. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. So it wasn't just them. So there might be some people there that have never received this baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to pray for you right now. Just sit right where you're at. You might be in your car. You might be in front of your computer. You might be by yourself somewhere. Just raise your hand. Say, Lord, I want this fire. I want this baptism of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I just my will, I healed my tongue, I healed my whole being. I need the fire and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Make me this witness in the utter ends of the earth, Jesus. Renovate my life. Give me the adventure of a lifetime. I'm willing to flow like the river. I'll go like the wind from whence I don't know where it came. I'll be like John G. Lake and hand my car keys over to someone and leave a bottle of tea and took off to Africa for 20 years. Came back as a great healing evangelist. Lord, I'll do that. I'll do that. And if you'll do that and you just praise Jesus, don't think about what you're saying. Don't control your tongue. Let the Holy Ghost have it. He'll baptize you right now. That fire will come upon you. I'm going to ask Wayne. He's hosting our meeting to pray this. I want him to pray over these people right now that have joined his prayer meeting here. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, Lord, that you yes. have to offer, yes. Lord, right now. Anyone ask, ask, shall receive, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody who thirsts will be quenched. They'll be filled, Lord. Lord, those who desire, those who search and seek, those who mm. wait, Lord, will be filled, Lord. So, Lord, all those that are seeking right now, that are hungry, fill them. the audience now, Lord, with your glory, with your presence, Lord, with the fire that dwells within, that burns within, Lord, with your glory, Lord, that falls on us, Lord, as we gather together, Lord, in your name. Yes, Lord. One place, Lord, that we meet your quality, your standard, Lord, we meet your commandment, Lord, we gather together, Lord, to defend the promise of the Father, Lord. So we thank you for the millions and millions have received, Lord. May millions and millions and millions more receive right now. In Jesus' name, Lord. Send on awakening to Pentecost, Lord. This fiery baptism of the Spirit upon the soul in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. And folks, let me uh, let me just mention something to you here very quickly. Praise God for all this that's happening. And if you would like to come back and hear this again, this will be in the archives, this more than one hour prayer meeting that we have been participating in. All you have to do is go online to the WileyDrakeShow.com and click on the archive. And the title of this show tonight is Holy Prayer. And you can download it, you can use it, listen again, listen to all of it or part of it, but just go to thewileydrakeshow.com, click on archive, and go to the one titled Holy Prayer. God bless you, and we're going to be going off at this time. We'll continue to pray with you. We'll see you back tomorrow.